Now, a question you may be asking is, ah, why would you go from 400 watts down to 300 watts? So basically what I have going on here is I have two 100 watt panels, two 100 watt panels, series, series, and then parallel. So it's 40 volts, five amps, 40 volts, five amps. Put them in parallel, you get 40 volts, 10 amps. Now the question today is that I wanna accomplish is I wanna take a panel like this and replace these 400 watts with 300 watts. Let's see what that's about. And the real answer is, dude, it's not going to be summer forever. <laughs> Winters be hard. And in winter, what am I going to do with four panels that two are laying flat, two are kind of up here. I don't know how long they'll be able to stay up here because I use my garage. And plus, I'm legit over 100 watt panels. <laughs> All right, enough talk. Let's get to it. Actually, first, let's get some data here. This is double the array somewhat so it's getting about 361 that's two 300 watts i have 290s and you see that this one is getting 209 from the 400 watts let me show you the conditions outside these are my conditions sun is about there the panel is out here it's already in the heat it's kind of soaking but you can see we do have some clouds floating around so i want to kind of get this to be comparable now let's change this out all right there she goes, cut the grass a little bit. Now it's in place, let's go check some power output. You can see it's very uh, similar sun conditions. Actually a cloud is about to roll in. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Yeah, you see the sun just went away. <laughs> All right, we uh, turning up here on the 600 watt array. This one is a 290. So let's get this plugged in. We'll look at some numbers whether the conditions are the same or not. About two, I don't know if I believe that, geez. 248, that's bananas. Yeah, this one got up to 500. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this one that high. Actually, I'm glad I'm down here recording, that's bananas. I'm about maxing out on this one. Sweet, bonus footage. <laughs> Dang, this one went up to two. All I really want to see is about 200, 220 something or another. Holy smokes, this is balling out of control. I think it's because the um, sun is hitting these panels after they cool for a little bit. And it's just kind of, man, that's bananas. Well, suffice it to say, that's a good look. Let's go back outside and see what's going on. Maybe it's just that these panels, they done super copped up together and they just feel kindred and they're just wilding. They're just balling out of control. But this is what we're looking at. This no longer needs to be out here. These panels are gonna be swapped out for those smaller ones in there. Then I could grab this in the morning and just lay it right here. And then I don't have to worry about shade coming from this stuff. My son over here, when it starts in the morning, will be able to hit this panel. That is ultimately why this panel is over here, which is my Renergy. Let's see what the Renergy is getting out of curiosity because that one is on the Duran Duran who's in PPT. I don't really trust. <laughs> it's been doing okay though. Just not fantastic. Yeah, look at that. That one's getting 259. So that's a 320 watt panel compared to a 290. These are in the same form factor. They're about 66 inches by 40 inches. So you know, a watt to 10 difference. What is that getting? 257. Let's see what my EB120 is getting. 258. So the Duran Duran is doing okay with that single panel. And this one's getting 475. This is gonna be full in two hours. All right, y'all, it is I holler.